Good morning. Welcome to another episode of Tristan Take Video. Today is Saturday and I have some new kit and I'm going for a bike ride. So, what do we got here? Fresh drop from my dudes at Attacker. Attacker are an Australian brand. They've been supporting me for um, a good few years now. They make some extremely nice cycling kit. They hit me up, they said, do you need some new kit? I said, yes. They said, what do you want? And I said, I would like some fresh colors. So Attacker have put together a little care package for summer, some summer colors. So I'll show you what I've got. Got a pair of bib shorts, summer undershirt. Got a nice new race climbers jersey, the Adriatic blue. Attacker have a couple of different kinds of jerseys. This is the race ultra climbers range. This is a super lightweight jersey, super breathable, very aero. It's got nice aero sleeves. This is a super nice jersey for summer. A couple of biddens, and I've got this one. This is a special new jersey. It is, uh, I'm not allowed to show you right now because it's not out yet. Not coming out yet, so I can't show you. It'll come out soon. I'll show you that later. I have the A-Line jersey in wattle. This is a cool jersey. The cut is a little bit more forgiving on this. So if you're looking for a more forgiving jersey, slightly heavier weight fabric and slightly more affordable, A-Line is the range to go for. And I just really like the color of this one. So today I am going to wear this one. And then, of course, a couple of pairs of socks because we all love socks and they're gonna be white. So yeah, fresh drop from Attacker. Nice to have you guys on board. Thank you so much. For you guys, if you like nice kit, Attacker are worth checking out. I'll put a little link to their Instagram down here. For now, let's crack on with the vlog. Before we do though, can I ask you one quick favor? If you wouldn't mind chucking a quick like on this video. And if you don't know about this channel, now you know. So give me a subscribe and follow along on my journey. And yeah, let's get on with the Saturday morning bike ride. Hello. Just be the baby that slow it down Uh, them flashing lights gonna come around Uh, try and put hands on me, don't pat me down Uh, well you know that I've been cut right a bird now But it's like she won't break me out I'm trying to stay down like someone's trying to take me out Wanna claim me like a response to a lost and found But she's so Chris that I'm having problems trying to cross her out On course I'm trying to stop her round What are we going to talk about? Scotty Bowden. Let's interview Scotty Bowden. My jaw is so sore from talking so much smack already. Is that what started. it's sore from? <laughs> All right, so we got Scott Bowden here, Australian, 26 years old, from Tasmania, living up in Borg. Borg en Bresse. Borg en Bresse in France, racing for. Four gang cyclism, a French national division one team. I probably still haven't said that right, sorry. <laughs> yeah, we. Oui. how is your French? Uh, I'd say Pamal, but it's it's not. <laughs> Pasmal. <laughs> it's Pasmal, yeah. Can parle un peu français. Un petit peu. That's probably still not right. Sorry team. So Scotty is out on our bike ride. Got Dan Bonello, Sam Monday in the background there. And I've just been chatting with Scotty about his Australian Nationals. So Scott was third at the Nationals this last year. Pretty exciting finish to a race actually. And now you're in Girona for a bit of training. Tell us yeah, how long are you well, here for? Uh, initially two weeks and then now a month because the racing in June for the teams all uh, like the French Amateur National Championships and races I can't do. So the roads are actually more familiar here to me than where I've been because I've been quite sick. So I actually haven't done a lot of training and got to know the roads too well yet where I am in France. So we're currently riding up San Hilari. Climb, it's about a 40K from, 40K roll from Girona. About 16Ks long on this side. Average is about 6%, but it's kind of flat for the first few Ks and then it kicks up. So today, Scott's out for a few hours. These guys, for a few hours more and uh yeah so we're doing a little nice little four hour loop
our Saturday San Hilario loop. This is what I call the two sides of San Hilario. This ride that we're doing has two climbs. It's got the first one we've already been up, San Hilario from Santa Coloma. And then the second side of San Hilario that we're doing now is the Col de Revel from Arbushes. This climb is about 15 kilometers long on a beautiful, quiet little service road next to the highway. Super smooth, it's about three to 4% and some really nice corners. You can see the view back behind me. That's Tour de Lomme, which is the highest climb in this area. That's about halfway between Girona and Barcelona. So really nice views on this ride, really good training ride. Two climbs, two really nice, beautiful, long sweeping descents and then back to town. Alrighty, so we are here with Sammy Monday. Sam is a professional cyclist, rides for Team Novo Nordisk, a all diabetic cycling team, professional continental. They race around Europe, do a bit in Asia when it's possible, and uh, Sam lives in Girona. So Sam, tell me about you. Yeah, so 23 years old. Probably got into cycling when I was about 14. My dad and older brother used to race, so just kind of fell in love with it. Got diagnosed when I was 11 years old. Actually at the time had no idea what diabetes was, so it was a bit of a shock to the system and I'd always been super active and then had the, the chance to actually meet Justin Morris who used to race as a professional on the team and mad dog mad dog uh, so he kind of inspired me to keep up racing and improve through that and it obviously didn't affect you with any sort of sporting uh, yeah. pursuits tell us more about that after I was diagnosed I was pretty it was pretty hard with uh, a lot of health professionals and doctors saying that you know you couldn't really exercise or do sports I guess that was probably the main thing that kind of fired me up to prove them wrong, as I think there's still a bit of that shallow perspective nowadays, so. Yeah, I mean, it's a pretty common misconception that if you've got some kind of medical condition, you know, you're gonna suffer at sports. And then here we have Sam living in Girona, working as a professional cyclist and has been the last couple of years. So, you know, it shows that you can definitely take a bit of inspiration from that. Definitely do whatever you want to. Live your dreams, kids. So you've been off racing in, a, in Estonia a couple of weeks ago, maybe off to Italy, yeah. doing a race in Lugano and then going up to Andorra for a bit of training as well. Yeah, trying to mix altitude it up. block. Get a bit of altitude in, hopefully it gets some form going. Often a few other good mates up there to spend that with. So in the meantime, enjoy training and riding with guys like Tristan. Sweet. Let's go and catch up with those boys. So, Daniel Bonello, you're last on the list of people I need to have a chat to. Yeah. Big motorsport weekend this weekend. What's on? What are we watching? Uh, we've got the MotoGP, Catalonia, so more or less local, but no fans, so we can't go, hence I'm out riding. You were going to go to that, weren't you? You got oh, tickets? I'll always have a look, have a sniff. And then Baku for the F1. Ooh, looking forward to that. Thunder Valley for the motocross, the outdoor season's begun. And then, yeah, obviously a bit of non-motorsport with the Dauphiné. We got some friends there racing, yeah. doing pretty well. See how Benny's going. You look on Strava at the moment, and it's like 10 people riding together that you all know, <laughs> and they're all doing... The Dauphiné. The Dauphiné. A much harder day than us. I'd say so. so. I don't know about that. You've been complaining that we've been going too hard. Yeah, 250 feels like 300. Yeah, still recovering from Walter Alicante. Yeah, I think more recovering from the single bed and shitty <laughs> sleep. Dan needs to take his own pillows for races. Yeah, I'm that guy. I'm at that age. Scotty, biggest day in a while for you. Since I've got to Europe over yeah. months ago. Soft. Nah, that's rude. You've been suffering. To be fair though, how many Ks have you done this year? Me? Yeah. 9,800 or something? I haven't, I get this. What have you done? done? What have you so done? So I've been sick for the best part of three months and I've still done more Ks this year than Tristan. And I've barely <laughs> ridden my bike for three Bullshit. months. And it's not even June yet. And I live in Tasmania where the roads are probably 20% slower than here. If you don't get a result in the next <laughs> month, I'm going to be raging. It's on your head to get a result. <laughs> Yeah, so, Tristan and I have actually at least qualified been... to do Spanish Nationals, we just can't do it. Yeah, we got, we have the points to do Spanish Nationals, but because we're only residents and not Spanish citizens, citizens we don't get that opportunity. Well, at least you get your results at all. Now I've just got to yeah. get my... you got to get your results? Get my health back and... 
and we'll all have some results. Let's go and ride our bicycles. Vamos. And there you have it. Super Saturday San Hilari of two sides with Scott Bowden, Dan Benello, and Sammy Monday. That's a lot of S's for you. We rolled back into town, went to La Puntual and got some bread, and then went and had a little beer at Hawes Category, and just caught the final kilometer, final two Ks of the Criterium de Dauphiné. Watching Ben and Jack Haig roll across the line, put themselves a bit higher up on GC, which was cool to watch. And now it is home for a chilled afternoon in the sunshine. As always, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed that, I hope you will like it, like the video, chuck a big like on there. And if you want to see more videos like this, make sure you subscribe. I uh, try and put out a video a week. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you all in the next episode of Tristan Take Video. Have a great week, guys. Are they